if this does prove to be a Russian attack, and I have to keep saying if, because we don't know yet, but if it does, then clearly there needs to be a very strong British response. Um, Mrs Litvinenko was suggesting that after uh, the report into her husband's murder, the response simply wasn't strong enough. What would the Labour Party like to see if you were in power now? We've got to work, of course, let's see the outcome of the investigation. You're quite right, we can't leap to any conclusions at the moment. But it doesn't matter whichever state it is, we've got to use every diplomatic method we can, linked up with our European and other global allies, to ensure that we isolate that particular administration, if yeah. it is a state that's involved in this. It may well be um, a criminal operation, we don't know at the moment, but if it is a state, we cannot tolerate another state putting at risk people, our own citizens or people living in this country. So we've got to isolate them. And as I say, one of the method, I think one of the methods we can do that, even if it's not the state and it's around an individual, is the sort of measures like the Magnitsky clauses that okay. we were putting forward. One very clear thing that you could do is stop appearing on Russia Today, which has been described by one of your own ministers yeah. as a Kremlin propaganda vehicle. I think that's right now, and that's what I'll, I'll be doing. I've appeared on it in the past, sometimes to challenge some of the issues internationally mm -hmm. and also to raise issues here um, that we're concerned about in terms of, well, not just Russia's role, but also the international scene overall. And I think that's right, because I think from what we're seeing from Russian today at times, goes beyond objective journalism from what I've seen. So, yes, I think that's right. So you're, this is a change in, in direction. Peter O'Dowd, your deputy, was on Russia Today only yesterday. Are you going to be encouraging the rest of your colleagues to follow that lead? Yes, I am, because I'm, I've been looking overnight at some of the what's happening in terms of changes in coverage on Russian television in particular, and I think we have to step back now. And I can understand why people have up until now, because we've treated it like mm. every other um, television station. We've tried to be fair and making sure that, again, any country's television station, we try to be fair with mm. them. And as long as they abide by journalistic standards, which are objective, that's fine. But it looks as though they've be gone beyond because that line. So, yes, we'll be, we'll be having that discussion. I mean, with respect, it was never really like any other television station, was it? Tom Watson, the deputy leader, said... Uh, that Russia today was reporting false or inaccurate stories and aligned its editorial policy to that of President Putin's Russian state. And that was back in November. Well, at times there's been examples of that and I think now we need to take those into account, especially in this current climate, and that's what we'll do.